Hey guys, welcome back. Silver Contrail here. We're once again on Parcel 31 U's server. I, I guess this is becoming a bit of a let's play. Uh, so we've got four people on, or we did. Someone just left. Uh, someone. Oh yeah. So uh, Make Pan just left. Uh, but we have the same group of guys who were on last night, including Parcel. Uh, so. We're back, doing some shaft mining. I said I was going to be doing that for a while, and I, I did. Actually, I really didn't do that much. I did find some diamonds, which I'm uh, pretty happy with so far. I don't have a fortune or a silk, or a silk touch pick, but that's fine. I, I don't need a lot of diamonds right now. Uh, the point of today's episode will probably be uh, Ender IO. So there's not a ton of stuff on this mod pack. In terms of tech progression, except for Ender IO, kind of forestry, and that's kind of it. <laughs> so you have you have Ender IO, and forestry, and uh, tech reborn, which is something I can't get into in the early game. So it's kind of irrelevant. Um, I'm just looking for some coal. I can't find any coal. Uh, I'm, I'm running short. I guess that'll be fine. Okay, so there's, remember that thing with the ladder I was trying to figure out? So what you do is you, you grapple onto the ladder and then you point up and then you just let go and you fly up. And there you go, easy. I don't know which mod adds that. Uh, there's also some other random things and I think he's, I think he's dying just out here. There's some other random things going on. I don't know what the deal is. The spawning for some mobs is pretty different, uh, including there's there was a guardian in one of these rivers recently uh, that I fought with. That's not supposed to happen, at least not in vanilla Minecraft, as far as I'm aware. Okay, anyways, so we're here in the back in the base. Uh, it hasn't really changed much. I did build a sterling generator just for some basic RF production, uh, so we can smelt down some ores and get some production or get some uh, doubled ores down uh, for uh, iron, which is pretty important. So we're going to need lots of iron and some other various things because we're going to start to move into... <laughs> Parcel's like, do you need help? Because he keeps dying to something over here. Uh, so we're going to be moving into trying to get some items that are really good, and Parcel's been telling me about them. Uh, the first one is a vat that we're going to need. So the vat brews Ender IO fluids, and we're going to feed those fluids to uh, something. I don't actually remember what it's called. Oh, the combustion generator, I believe. So this burns uh, liquid fuel to generate power. And what we're going to make with the fuel type is, is there, it doesn't really show it. Um, is this stuff right here? Um, not the not the gas. Um, whatever this stuff is, I guess is really good. <laughs> so it, it burns burns really well, uh, and it takes potatoes of any type and sugar, and that's all it takes. Pretty easy, or various other things. So so basically, some kind of, some sort of plant or crop and sugar. And that'll get us to where we need to go. Uh, and that'll be probably our main power production. I know that's what Parcel's using. He set up recently a pretty sweet base. Our wall. I actually think this wall... Okay, so so he made this wall out of just random nonsense. But I think it's it's kind of got a bit of an appeal. At least for me. I, I think it's pretty cool. They put a door in finally. Um, and it goes quite a ways around... Um, and so this being their base, uh, they have quite a bit of a setup here with solar panels and uh, a bunch of extra utility stuff. Uh, they've got this, which I really like, the polished stone from extra utilities. i got to figure out how you make that. Uh, let me look real quick. Polished stone. You get this from... Oh, okay, you just convert stone bricks into it. Oh, that's sweet. I will definitely be building stuff out of this polished stone. It looks really cool. Um, and then, yeah, this is them doing all kinds of crazy stuff. So they've got a whole setup here. I think they have they have a sterling generator. Um, I don't know what he's doing. 
Uh, so he's got a bunch of vats going on, combustion generators. This is all his power supply. He's got uh, the fuel coming in with some water, and this is creating uh, the power for his nonsense. Uh, it's powering his vats, and then it's powering the rest of his setup, including this, which I think is his quarry. It's a builder, which can double as a quarry, which vaguely reminds me of modular... Uh, modular force fields, if you remember that mod, I don't think I've seen any mod pack use it in a long time. But when that, uh, when modular force fields was around, you could use it to project a force field to repel mobs, and you could do all kinds of cool stuff with it. I remember the Minecraft guys used it quite a bit. But you could also use it as like an excavator. It would re delete the blocks that it was next to, and you could use it to carve out big caverns. Uh, and this feels very similar, so you can, you can you have a bunch of different settings and you can make it either build walls or uh, mine things out. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what he was getting at. Um, he built up, this guy built a mine shaft or something with polished stone. That does look weird though. Hmm, I think you gotta... I think you gotta, uh... Mix the polished stone with something, or it looks a little off. It looks too smooth for Minecraft. Anyways, Tinker's Construct Congealed Slime. Anyways, yep, let's go and head back to the base, and we'll do some crafting today because that's what we need to do. Do some uh, machinery setup. So, of course, you've got their huge base, which they built right next to my base. Uh, we'll build something cool down the road. I don't know what it's going to be. I'm, I'm thinking about building along the the bedrock along like layer 12 or something but I don't, I don't know yet I'm, I'm still debating on it I've got a I've got a couple ideas for a base that I'm tossing around all right so let's drop off some stuff I have a, a whole inventory system here that I need to sort out okay so there's some kind of glitch I guess I guess it's a glitch I'm not really sure when you try to um, empty this watch what happens you see that the items flew out, and they usually end up right about here. And they just, they just fly out of the back of the furnace whenever I click on the furnace. There's also some kind of weird thing where if you click on... So let's say I have some coal in my hand, and I click on the furnace, it just instantly puts the coal in that slot. If I have some sort of fuel in my hand, or something that goes in the top slot, it'll instantly put it there. Uh, and it's really annoying. It won't do it if it can't go in either slot, so like this can't go in... Oh, no, I guess it can go in the top slot. Um, maybe if there's not a recipe for it, it won't go there, but it, it, for some reason, grabs it. I don't know what mod does it, but it's really annoying, and I wish it wouldn't. <laughs> Anyone have cocoa? No, I have not been to a jungle. Okay, next up, we need, um, to use the iron for nefarious purposes. Okay, so, like I said, we have the, um... The, the vat being kind of the first piece of the puzzle in terms of energy production. That, and that's one option for energy production. The other option is to go with uh, uh, Tech Reborn. So, uh, Tech, again, Tech Reborn, and we have all the Tech Reborn options here. They have some really cool stuff like uh, the thermal generator. Like, that's pretty cool. The problem is that making it requires... All kinds of fun things. Actually, I don't know how hard this is to get. You just need bronze. Well, that's not... There's a shapeless crafting for it. And then you get these, and then you smelt them. Oh, you don't have to use, like, a rolling machine? And then it gets an advanced alloy ingot. Then you combine it with glass. And you get the that thing, and then you use the invar, which isn't too hard. And the generator, which actually isn't too bad. And the electronic um, circuit, which, again, isn't too bad. The problem is, then you have to do... This is powered by buckets of lava. There's no buckets of lava, or no way to get buckets of lava consistently, as far as I can tell. Uh, there's no pump. I haven't really checked, to be honest, because Buildcraft isn't on. Um, lava. Um, uh. Lava generator gives two GP when adjacent to lava. What is GP? I have no idea. 
I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. What if I hit you? Oh, it doesn't show me. That's too bad. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't know how to get I wouldn't know how to get buckets of lava consistently. Um which would be the problem. I've used I've used thermal generators in the past to power entire bases, like years ago, when I used to play stuff with Greg Tank, but I honestly I don't know how to do it now. Anyways, let's go back to uh the uh vat. Oh, it's called the vat. Alright, so this requires Oh shoot, I didn't realize it required electric steel. This is from coal dust and silicon. Silicon produced by smelting clay or or not but, uh, using the sagmill on various other things. So we got a lot of byproducts to kind of sort through here. So I went ahead and actually got a bit done. I was taking a bit of time trying to record it and do all the crafting, and it was taking forever. I had to go get some more resources anyways, so I figured this is the best way to go about it now. I've pretty much got everything made. I did build an alloy smelter so that I could make the components that I need for the combustion generator and the vat, and hopefully we have everything now. Um, I didn't really double check too much, so here's the combustion generator. Um, yeah, so here's that pretty easy this is what will burn the fuel and then we go and grab the vat and this is what will uh generate the fuel for us so we have everything but a furnace we need to make a furnace real quick i really really love this this is so good <laughs> that little plus um so we'll grab the vat excellent okay so now we pretty much have everything uh except for potatoes we'll we'll mess with that later um, I don't know if we need some sort of, uh, transfer pipe for this. I think we might need one. Energy conduit, energy conduit. Don't they have some sort of, uh, conduit for fluids, right? They, they gotta have something. Uh, oh, here we go. Um, fluid conduit, which takes conduit binders in Ender IO glass, which is glass passed through an alloy smelter, and the conduit binder, which is binder composite, which is. Okay, that's weird. Um, we don't have any. Maybe it'll just transfer it right over to it. Oh, well, no, it's going to need water, isn't it? Well, I mean, we can give it the water manually. So let's... I mostly want to just check this out and see if this works, as I think it will. You know, I think I already had a bucket. I don't know where it is. Okay. So let's put the vat right... Uh, here. And put the combustion generator... Actually, that's not where I want it. Can I just pick this stuff up? Okay, good. <laughs> uh, that could have been bad. Uh, so this is already empty, so let's move you, and we'll put combustion generator here, and put the vat here, and put uh, sterling generator here. There we go. Okay, cool. So let's see, show recipes. Okay, so this is the one we want. So it takes water, some sort of fuel source. I wonder if it takes some um, carrots, because I got lots of carrots on me. And then it takes the sugar, so let's get some sugar. And we get some carrots, and we need some water. Hopefully there's nothing out here waiting for us. Oh, yep, there is. There we go. Okay, that was creepy. Uh, let's grab some water real quick. And we'll put the water into the sterling... No, into the vat. Okay, there we go. I don't know how much it actually needs. So here... Oh, I guess it doesn't... Does it a baked potato? No. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go raid the village real quick. Uh, let's grab our friend. Or my friend. The uh, little inventory pet that I have here at Chicken Pet. 
Uh, chicken pets like to eat seeds. And when they're well fed, the inventory pets will allow you to move at super speed. Or they have other abilities as well. Uh, but the chicken basically lets you move really fast as long as you keep it fed with seeds. I don't really have like a supply of seeds, um, but I'm hoping to get one. Alright, let's do this real quick. Okay, there we go. So yeah, this is the village over by the base. Uh, nothing too fancy going on here. Um, I'm going to pick these up so I have some seeds. Looks like the sun's already starting to set. And it is so dangerous out here. The first night we were here, we got just destroyed by mobs. Oh, I just uh, trampled some land. Okay, so we'll try this and see what it does. <laughs> this is so much fun. <laughs> Alright. Uh, real quick, we'll take a nap. Uh, basically, from here, we want to try to see if this works. If we get the power we need, then that will be the power source that I'll elect to use for a while. Okay. So, potato. Does it still need something? Oh, it needs power from this first. Okay, uh, let's show the recipe. So this needs 10, no, 10,000 redstone flux to run one time. So that looks like it's going to end up being... I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the burn time of the coal is. Oh, there we go, right there. Generate 16,000? Oh, so that'll be plenty. Okay, but it needs... It must need more water. It needs a full thing of water. Oh, that kind of sucks. Uh, I could have swore I had some buckets. Maybe I don't. But I thought I did. Uh, there is a mod on here. Oh. Which lets you pull stacks by scrolling the mouse wheel. Um, on, a, like, an item in your inventory, if you've got something in the... Like, something in your inventory and you got something in the chest, you can scroll items into the chest from a stack or scroll items out of the chest and into your personal inventory. Uh, that's from Quark, I think. Quark adds a lot of weird things and adds that cool, fast ladder scaling. Oh, it's running. Uh, did it already feed it to this? Oh, it needs a coolant. So this needs water, too. 72%, 75, 79, 81, 85, 91, 93, 97... Did it go here? Where'd it go? Oh, okay, so it's here. Um, can I set to output here? Oh, no, nope, push. There we go. Okay, so it's feeding it. Alright, so this has the fuel. Uh, need some water. Oh, there we go. Cool. Alright, so we're generating some redstone flux. I think. Looks like we're generating 60 redstone flux per tick. Wow. It's actually quite a bit. And it's barely consuming this stuff. We'll see how much this does, uh, and then we'll, um, we'll see if we should build some production. There's actually, in Ender IO, there is a farming unit. I don't think you can make this stuff for it yet. A farming station here. Uh, it takes diamond and pulsating crystals, which are made with pulsating iron nuggets, which are made from pulsating iron, which are made from smelting ender pearls with uh, iron ingots. Um, there's the builder that I still want to make. Um, builder. Uh, from RF Tools, this takes an ender pearl. I really want to use this. Uh, that will take uh, a little bit of work to get this set up. This, again, this doubles as basically a 
like depending on what upgrades you put in it, it can double as a lot of things. So enter chamber card to make a link. Uh, it can move, copy, swap of blocks, uh, from a space chamber. Um, it does a bunch of different stuff. So that's pretty cool. Uh, this thing is still putting out a ton of energy and it basically hasn't consumed any of the fuel. Uh, yeah, this seems really efficient. And it's 60 redstone flux per tick, which is more than what I was going to use, which is the thermal uh, thermal generator, which was max output uh, of 32 redstone flux per tick. Uh, so, yeah. And I, you know, I got to admit, potatoes and sugarcane are a lot easier to get a hold of that is really good early game because it takes almost nothing to make this. Uh, the alloy smelter in the sag mill and your first sterling generator, this is all just like basically iron. That's pretty incredible. And it's very easy to get a, to just come across potatoes or uh, you can take apples and apparently it lasts forever. Uh, okay, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah, I would probably use that as my fuel source. I think what we'll do is next time we'll work on building a farm and expanding this house. We could set up, see, we could set up the builder um, right away and set it up to make a building. But I, uh, I want to do it with, I want to make it with the um, a mixture of stone bricks and then the real smooth stone stuff, wherever that went to. I don't know if I actually have any on hand. Um, but like I'd, I'd like to this is on furnace mode right now oh oh allies only okay there we go uh and uh to make the so i do have some stone bricks on me but i do want the rest of them to make those blocks that are like really smooth and i think merging them together with the stone bricks would look really cool uh, and that could be a really cool looking base uh, looks like this is just starting to run out but we've already maxed out our supply here. I, you know, basically put nothing into this. This is maxed out now. This is maxed out. This is maxed out. All I've got to do is make sure that I keep this uh, filled with water, which there's there are reservoirs, which are basically water sources. Oh, and it goes in there. Water sources, and I mean, that's going to be easy, and the whole thing is going to work really well. Uh, yeah, I think this is going to be my power source for the early game, at least. I don't know what I'm going to go to eventually, because this is so efficient right now. But uh, we'll see. So that's probably why uh, Parcel has, has doubled down on that. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, but that's about it uh, for this episode. Again, kind of short, but just wanted to cover some of the basics. And talk about some things. So next time we'll probably build the base, and that'll be pretty fun. Once again, thank you guys for watching, and until next time then.